game theory. Muting GLHF. All right, GLHF Narik. Okay, here we are. We are playing a game of 5D chess. This is season four of the 5D chess league. Week three, this is our third match uh, after Dreamer and Andre. We rolled black. Uh, it is, of course, turn zero, medium timer, random color. Um, here we are. It's still Ramadan. Uh, so we're not super with it. We're a little dehydrated, but that's fine. Um, because uh, what, what we're nourished in is uh, joy and enthusiasm. And that's enough for us. Uh, <laughs> okay, the believers, for some reason, in the chat, uh, trying to put as much pressure as they can onto me. Which isn't going to help my performance. Now, e3 first is a bold move. Why? Because knight f3 hasn't been played. Uh, I wish that I was more in tune with uh, like the theory of turn zero. I definitely had a lot of interesting counterplay to this developed. That involved, uh, you know, playing in such a way that guaranteed you like a turn zero travel as black. Otherwise, white would have to sack a lot of stuff. Um, but we're playing against Narik, by the way. I think I mentioned that already. Um, I'm not sure that I'm confident enough to really go for this, uh, this business here. Let's just play Knight F6. I'm not going to like all in on trying to get this travel to happen. I probably could. But I don't want to. So as top believer, trust me when I say points mean nothing to me. Well, that's good to hear, DZV. No, I appreciate it. No, I think I used to feel a lot more pressure about that stuff. Um, Queen out, huh? It's a bold move. That's a bold move. Is it not? Let's just play a little bit of this. I mean, obviously, Nurik's got so Wow, this is like the old days. What's going on? Yo, hold the front door. What if I push this bishop here? And then Tchaikovsky my opponent? Where does his queen go if I do this? Queen? There are very few squares. I guess the queen could go here. But then we queen up, right? Well, check only move queen up. No, you have to Tchaikovsky with the queen, so I guess that's an issue. Should I waste that much time on the... Okay, the idea is obviously that this is going to happen. Hmm. What's a Tchaikovsky? Ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> Tchaikovsky is a 5D chess tactic that I won't go into now because I'm playing a tournament match in real time. I really do want to do this though. This, 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 this. How are we going to get there? We'll figure something out. No, let's just play C6. This is a reasonable move. And then let's play this. All right, no longer possible. RIP in peace, my hopes, but also my dreams. Now we could do something incredibly irresponsible and weakening if we wanted to. Uh, alternatively, we could pull this queen out here. Oh, this is so weird. Um, I don't know what I want to do. What if we prepped, I mean, this sucks, but it's probably bad. If, like, if we do this, 
If we do that and then here, here. What are the odds that we get absolutely destroyed? I wonder if going here the previous turn really works. Well, I mean, I didn't do it, so I shouldn't waste time thinking about it. But. Honestly, this move could happen. Like, it feels pretty bad, but... Mm. Simplistic explanation, time travel that parallel attacks the king. It's a super simplistic explanation. That's not, like, exhaustive. Yeah, we'll do it. I don't know. That doesn't feel good, but... I, I want to not... I want to leave this square open for my uh, light square bishop. So this kind of allows me to fink out on my bishop while simultaneously enabling this bishop to come out like this. Um, but uh, no, that's like a super simplistic explanation. Okay, so what a Tchaikovsky is now that I've got a second. I take it back. I don't have any time chat. What if we pulled this bishop out here? Why not? That way we can get our knight out is what I'm mostly concerned about. Wow, this really feels like old school meta. interesting all right so the knight comes out yeah i'm liking the knight out here then maybe queen out and then maybe we maybe we castle queen side The bishop here means that this pawn is suddenly defended, which I dislike. At least this knight is kind of pinned. Yeah, I figured. Um, so here we can do a little bit of this, can't we? I've Maybe I'm crazy, but I feel like I've played this game before. Against Narik. The only issue with, like, a move like this maybe is kind of cute, but this uh, is, like, forced recapture because it checks the king in the past. Isn't ideal. Here's nice because it attacks this bishop. Uh, threatens this, but also covers this bishop. But then if this happens... Takes, takes, doesn't really queen out. I feel like I've played this game. I feel like this set of moves has occurred between myself and Narik. Let's do this. Moon first. Weird. One of the YouTubers called the F7sec the Terminator Gambit. No, it's just called the F7sec. Bishop phasing, yeah. Didn't really catch on, yeah. Um, so a Tchaikovsky is when you force your opponent's king to move next to an undefended square, a previously undefended square. Then you travel onto the turn before the king moved 
onto the undefended square, and that checks the king after it's moved on the original timeline. Uh, if that makes sense. If it doesn't, I don't blame you. Um, but that's all. That's all I can spare right now. So I gotta, I, I gotta devote all my brain power to this game. Takes, takes. Well, okay. So the nice thing about, well, even then, I'm not, not in love. Question is where I put my queen. Maybe like queen b3. Sorry, I don't know what this is B6. Um but no, I don't think I want to move. Queen C7. I don't know. Our pieces are more developed. We just have to not get got. If we're not getting got, then I feel like we're in pretty good hands. This is an interesting structure. Uh, like, this is pretty uncommon. I don't see a lot of this. Takes, force, takes, and then move over isn't great but then again it liberates the well but that's not fantastic with this knight here this knight's a real pain in my ass huh it's a pretty good spot for the knight it's like a good system it's weird because he's like given up space and also kind of development It looks sharp. We both got decent king safety. Oh, he takes here. Oh, I mean, now I've got a decision. My only two legal moves are taking with the pawn and taking with the knight. And I feel like if I make the wrong choice, then I'm absolutely shrecked. I don't like the fact that if I take here with the pawn, this bishop is here. I'm going to take with the knight, which is also nice because it defends the bishop on g7. So I can probe with my knight here. I'm not in love with trading one of my bishops in this position for an opponent's knight. But... I feel like we're in all right shape. I feel like we're in okay shape. Oh, wow, okay, and that's interesting. Now, we probably wanna develop, I don't know. I want to develop my queen. What if I kick my opponent's queen? Do I want to develop my queen before I do that? My queen's probably decent on d6, right? It sees a lot. I mean, I open myself up to this. But like, what does that do? Do I care? I literally don't care, chat. Etc. No, because I've got a new... Well... 
I like. I think I like Queen D6. I really like this move. But I think it's not good. Or is it good? Let's play Queen D6 because my heart tells me to. Moon first, sink later. This is instinct. We're playing off instinct right now. Here. And I suppose if this happens, then we have the queen here, which is like pretty, pretty good. It does singly defend the e6 on. I feel like we're in okay shape here. This queen staring into my opponent's kingside, not the rook is on f1. Just like it could something. Yeah, I think I I think I'm I think I'm happy with taking space in 5D chess is always super uh scary. Just because you know it leaves you open to like overextension. Um and it's easy for the tides to turn apart. Really taking his time here trying to figure out what, what he wants to do. Uh, Mathfridge is here. Mathfridge says, hey, Smet, how's your Saturday? It's doing all right, Mathfridge. Thanks. I mean, we're playing 5D chess on stream. So, you know, it's got to be a good day. It's Ramadan right now. Uh, so I'm fasting. I haven't had water in uh, ju just about 12 hours now. So it's hard to play tournament games. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, yeah, it's good. Um, so many attack surfaces. So many attack surfaces. How are you doing? How's it going, Mathridge? Um, okay. Hmm. Rank's a big fan of the trade, huh? What if I force it like this? I don't know. Is this... This might even just be... What does it mean? Like, why? I don't like the way that... I don't want him to open up it. I don't want to trade here, right? I don't think I want to trade here. What if we move the bishop... Oh, sorry, what if we move the queen up? Like this? We could also... Let me think... Still defending all the key squares. It's annoying. I don't think I want to take this trade. That's like bad for business, right? Because we take the trade. Suddenly, he's got the rook staring down the f-file. No, it just feels terrible. Uh, the question is, is my queen like substantially out of position? Um, somewhere like b4 or c5 we do have an insane okay the problem with b4 is that it invites c3 I don't have like an amazing answer to that. On the other hand, c5 gets my queen out of the, uh, you know what? Let's moon first. Yeah, let's try and moon first here. 
Although here, there is like an awkward... Here I was thinking we could scoot over to like A5 and stare down D2. And there's like some insane three turns in the past travel eventually if without any other pieces moving that might result in something wacky. But then this is an issue actually because takes. That's interesting. What does this do? Should we castle? Is castling the way here? Because if I castle, maybe I should castle? Because then I've doubly defended. If I don't castle, then like this is check. Or, you know, check in the past takes and this is made in the past, right? So let's just castle here so that we doubly defend B8. That feels all right, right? Probably. Oh, it's a little weird. It's definitely a weird position. I don't like that my queen is in front of my pawns. <laughs> what a weird, what a weird position. We do now, though, have an interesting... Now that our queen is off e8. And again, I'm not super... All those pieces are kind of staring down my king side. Which makes me a little bit nervous. Just a little bit. Do I have to worry about that? All right, what's going on here? What's going on here? So an anti-castle travel is not possible because it's doubly defended, right? Uh, like we can just see right off the bat. Uh, this is like always doubly defended. Takes, takes, boom, takes. Yeah, it's not, it doesn't really threaten anything. Even if you did it with a... Uh, it doesn't have any knights. I'm not really sure what this means. It does mean that our knight up here isn't really an option now. We could push this pawn would be really interesting now, right? Because that would attack this bishop. Here takes with the pawn seems nuts like takes nah that's not good that's not good takes with the queen now we're talking we could probably convert off of that right takes with the bishop takes with the knight takes otherwise Moon first. I'm feeling it. I don't know if it's good. We kind of relinquish center control. We invite pushing this pawn. It's weird. I know it's weird. Ha, I, I feel weird about that move. I don't know. There's probably something better. We could also pull this knight over here to prevent like a travel. onto the board where the queen also sees h7, which I don't even think is an issue. Problem is that that doesn't really threaten anything either. <sighs> Although it does mean that we kind of quote unquote trap this bishop. Push pushing this pawn up, I think is. 
Well, okay. I mean, that drops the bishop. So, <laughs> obviously, that's pretty bad. That that one's pretty bad. I'll admit. Um. <laughs> right. That was important. Yeah, I don't know. I think we are enjoying a good deal more queen. The, the other thing about pushing this pawn is that now if we play knight h5, our queen is defending it, which is actually like, actually kind of a big deal. Um, yeah. It looks like Ryan's defended pawn opening. So might just transition to the other variants theory. Yeah, but that's the... <laughs> I mean, the implication is that I've got like a more robust theory base in one variant than the other, which is just incorrect. Uh, I'm doing well. Actually, I have a manager who is orthodox and he mentioned he's fasting over Passover soon. Is it common for Ramadan to coincide with Passover? Um, not really. Yeah, as Martin mentioned, uh, Ramadan is based on the lunar calendar, the Hijri calendar. Uh, so it processes with respect to the Gregorian calendar every year. Um, a little bit. Um, I'm not sure if Passover is uh, like a static sort of part of the year either. Uh, I actually don't know. But um, Ramadan is like roughly, I don't know, like maybe two weeks-ish or 10 days or something like that earlier every year um, because it's, you know, lunar calendar is shorter than the, than the solar calendar. But yeah. Um... Right, yeah, Ramadan's way easier in the winter compared to the summer, yeah, for sure. Okay, so here, this is interesting. We force this trade. I think taking with the bishop here is a mistake. I think that's a trap. Now that I think about it, it's detrimental that this knight is gone, isn't it? That's pretty bad. Chad, I want to not lose this game. I want to not lose this game. But have I enabled my opponent a travel that's really bad for me? By letting him sack into this into the night. If I do this and allow this to happen, then I uh, it's like over, right? I want to control this square, so let's just take this because it's the only sensible move, apparently. And then if I push this pawn now, I should be... I, my ass should be covered, right? Because then... He'd get to go here, here, here. Yeah, no, my ass is covered. If I push h5 next turn... This game is hard, chat. <laughs> this game is hard. Ramadan being easier in the winter is interesting. Haven't thought of that. Will it take about 20 years for Ramadan to mean the summer? You'd have to look it up. I don't really remember. Certainly, it's done. I think it's done a full loop definitely in my lifetime. <laughs> I'm 28. Uh, I'm actually 27. Uh, I'm 28 in um, at the end of Ramadan, actually. In like three weeks, I turn 28. Um, but yeah, it's r roughly it's something like that, Andre. So you know that Easter is the same week as Passover, and Easter is the first Sunday after the first full moon after the first day of spring. Okay, so if it's tied to the first day of spring, then yeah, it's it's like relatively static. Uh, do I need to push this pawn now? That's what I want to know. Do I need to push this pawn to prevent like a wacky travel? To prevent wacky travel action? My opponent's got this travel and next turn they'll have this travel. 
it feels not great. But I mean, this is going to be weakening itself, right? It'll weaken this square. And if he sacks into this knight, but that's probably fine. I wish I knew if it was necessary for me to play h5 here for my own safety. <sighs> like, if this is the only opportunity that I'm going to have realistically to, to make this happen. If I take this... Now. And he takes. Then I can take this with check and then win the game, right? So, like, if I take this now... I don't think he can travel to win, right? Like, I don't I don't think that this gets the job done. Does it? Maybe it do, I don't know. It probably doesn't. So if, if, I, if I just take this, if I take this pawn, and he takes here, which is like the only other real option he has, then can I convert? If he does this and does this, <sighs> I'm running out of time. Takes here, takes here, doesn't work. Takes here, takes here, it's probably necessary. Um, opens up the, all right. Let's do this so that I don't waste another three and a half minutes trying to figure out if I should make this move this turn. That's just what it's boiled down to. Could do a little tradey poo here, like force this trade here, and that enables a little discoverino. Um, right? The fact that I've opened up the center like this, probably now I actually do want to trade queens, maybe. I don't know if that's true. Uh, I feel like this is similar to the last game, the warm-up game that I played, where I think I've sorted myself out uh, like a really nice, a really strong position. But that I'm failing to Skion is now following. Thank you so much for the follow, Skion. Welcome to the channel. How are you doing? Hope you enjoy. How's it going? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay. Here now? Feels pretty good. I think. This pawn is defended by this queen, which feels good. What if I do this now? Is there any way? Takes. Takes, push, in order to threaten takes. Sorry, in order to push. No, it's fine. It takes, no, it takes, takes. Dude, I really want to do this move. Okay, moon first. That's It's the first truly irresponsible move that we've made. But it feels good because it forks his pieces. It defends this pawn again. Uh, and if he opens up the diagonal, then... I mean, if I can't win from that position, then that's on me, dog. Like, that just is the way that it be. Uh, and now I have this squares defended by this rook. Uh, so I don't have to recapture this with... Um, with my king if, if he takes here and now he doesn't have the travel because last turn it's it's blocked now which feels pretty good so i feel like i'm in a good spot i just really need to convert my head is pounding right now in all five dimensions <laughs> uh, is this the first league game yeah this is this is game one of the match yeah for sure um
Ramadan should be easy on the ISS. <laughs> no, you like define your day. Everybody shut up. Takes, takes, that feels bad for me, but listen, I'm going to do it anyway. Fuck it. Fuck it. I don't have much time. We'll do it live. I feel like with my, if I centralize my rooks, then dot, dot, dot profit will incur. That's just how it feels. If he takes, then I can take here with check, and probably I win the game. Right? Right? I mean, come on. Come on, let's get real. Okay, that seemed like the only reasonable move. Uh, so I'm glad Narik and I see eye to eye. Now... Question is what we do next. Um, oh jeez, I'm so low on time. Here takes, here takes, takes. This feels good to me. This feels good to me. Got less than a, or a little bit over a minute on the clock. But we need to think really carefully. If this capture happens, then we have to decide what we want to do. We can either take this pawn, or which ends like a mate here. So then you'd have to take, take this pawn. So you'd have to like move the Whoa. That gives up the queen, which would be pretty cool. Or takes, 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 takes. Obviously, it doesn't really help us. I feel like we're in a good spot. We need to, we need to find a way over the finish line. And hope that we haven't blundered any tactics because our knight's not here anymore so this potentially he can crack our king side wide open right i mean it's very real pulling our bishop here for us is actually kind of nice now um it's so sharp ah uh, this is not ideal oh interesting that's interesting oh man it's more interesting than i wanted it to be uh, okay. So now... Night up. I had to make a practical decision. I can't waste too much time. I really need it to calculate later. This feels really good if this... Because it keeps this threat here. Oh, wow. Really? This takes, 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 takes. Oh, it's too much to calculate, man. This is torturous. Ah, oh, I hate that move so much. 
Oh, God, I need more time. Just putting pressure on this E3 pawn. I could probably just take here last turn, move over here, prepare a travel onto here, something like that. Um, it's a move that I've opted not to. I probably, honestly, I probably have a game winning travel. If I go like here on this board, and like takes, 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 takes. No, I need more queens. <laughs> Need more queens for that to be a thing. Um, God, this game. <sighs> I need to calculate on his turn too. Is the worst part. Wow, he just did this, huh? The only redeeming factor here is that we've got some shenanigans of the back rank. Okay, now I need to make a decision, and this decision is absolutely crucial. Don't know if I made the right decision. That feels crazy. <sighs> God damn it. I think now we go here. I hope I didn't miss mate. Oh God. Chat. That sucks for me. Sure hope my opponent doesn't have mate here. Takes this. Oh god, what? Um. Ah, oh, we flagged. Ah. Oh. Was this ever, like, basically my only play is to do this, right? And then he could have sacked, take. Dude, I would have had the win. I had win, like, traveling here. I was so darn close. Oh. I mean, really... I should have made the practical decision of like, okay, maybe I'm lost, but I don't have any options and I'm about to flag. So definitely I should make like the only move that it looks like I can make here, which is this move. I don't think this wins him the game, right? Does it? Hold on. This here. Would hit here on this board. Here on this board. Okay, it, it does win him the game. He has mate he has mate on the board. Okay. Yeah, so if I do this, then this is mate. Uh which honestly somehow makes me feel a lot better. Um okay. Uh Yeah, do you, oh, actually, if I move here, then he's also got hilariously G6 is <laughs> just undefended. Uh, I think I definitely threw this one away. <sighs> I think I set myself up really well, and then I didn't, I didn't convert in the right way. I just can, <sighs> this is my... Definitely, I'm finding that the thing that 
gimps me the most. <laughs> um, or rather, the, the aspect of my gameplay that is gimped the most by Ramadan is definitely, like, my pure calculation ability. It, it like, prevents Super Cement from coming out. I just, like, don't have the energy to think properly. It's just not pretty. Um, it's just not good. I, uh, let's see. What could we have done differently? I could have played when I was checked here, actually King H8, I think wins. Oh no, it doesn't because, uh, no King H no, but then this happens then put never mind. No, I think I was fucked. Because then, otherwise, this is check, and then, and then that's not good. Uh, you know what's the worst thing is when I made when I made this rook move, I definitely I like really deeply. Uh, in hindsight, rook e8 here would have won. I agonized over this decision of whether like rook d8 or e8 made the more made the most sense. Because, like, D8's the less defended fit right here. It's, like, all the pieces are loaded onto it. But, like, I was I was planning on pushing the bishop up and making all these trades anyway. Like, it was definitely the right choice. For sure. Obviously, rook E8 was definitely... Oh, I mean, listen, I had, like, 10 seconds on the clock, so I can't be, like, that hard on myself, but... Hindsight is 2020. <laughs> God damn. All right. GG. Ah, <sighs> point every piece at E3 is the play. No, it really was. I, yeah. Ah, oh, we are so close. Like, I mean, it is what it is. Spilt milk and all that. Rake played really well. It's difficult to shake the feeling, though, that, like, any other day, <laughs> this actually would have been, like, a pretty easy game. Uh, I mean, okay, easy is de definitely... There's this little bit of hubris there. <laughs> I don't think easy is the right word, but, like... I think there were lots of routes to mate here that I just didn't put together. Okay, here we are. All right, okay. <sighs> GLHF. GLHF to Nareek. This is game two. This is game two in our match. We just lost game one. Came my channel points, says Nareek. All right. Um, we lost game one. It was so close. We, were, we had a great position, uh, but we couldn't convert, which is fine. Uh, we ended up flagging, but we were dead on board anyway. Um, now we have the white pieces, which, as we all know, are the better pieces, uh, in 5D chess. So, let's just get into it, man. Let's just get into it. Let's try, let's try and even it up 1-1. Uh, it's important that we win this game. We're gonna do our best. We're gonna try to regroup. We're gonna try not to think about last game too much. Um, I'm so exhausted. I'm so exhausted game is really exhausting um yeah it was a cool game I think it was an entertaining game um yeah all right here we go okay we're just gonna play d4 Oh, so is Narik, it appears. C3, D6. Interesting. Let's just do a little bit of this. I don't know why I'm playing knight or bishop g5 all the time now. I used to only ever play bishop f4. Couldn't tell you. Couldn't tell you. Uh, let's do a little bit of this. Probably prepping bishop d3. Trade for this light square bishop. Open up the king side. You know, get a little raunchy. Now let's do this. I feel good about this structure. Now this knight is pinned, so I don't have to worry about this jump in, right? Right? Why is everyone suddenly playing London system? <laughs> I wasn't ready for that? Yeah, geez, I wonder, Dreamer. Um, let's just do this. 
Come on. I would just want to get that bishop off the board. I don't care if this happens. All right, g3 is now a target, right? Let's put our queen on d3 now. Now, g6 is a liability. g6 is a liability, and someday, if we're lucky, we might be able to capitalize on that. All these years, players eventually graduate towards it, gravitate toward it. Not me, though. I'm C4 for life. Honestly, C4 is... I, I like C4 better as an alternative than E3 as an alternative. For real. What, I'm playing it for centuries? That's funny. Um, now I can either... This is cute because I can travel two turns in the past. Take this. Let's do this. I don't know if the right play there was knight bd2. But this is cute because we can go two turns in the past here. And if takes, we take because we traded the bishop on g6, right? And next turn, we probably play knight bd2. Like, I don't like opening up f7 or f2, but how's he ever going to get there? Okay, okay. This can happen now. No, it can't. <laughs> I got to wait a turn before that's a move. If I do wait a turn, then it will be here. And that'll be good. Right? Man, I sure hope this doesn't lose me the game. Let me just say that. <laughs> Let me say that. <laughs> uh... Did I play this recently? Dude, I did play this recently. This was my game against Andre, maybe? This was game two against Andre or something like that. It's because I forgot that this knight could just chill here. Right? That's like exactly what happened to me. Yeah, yeah, I did. <laughs> Dude, I made the same miscalculation like two games in a row. Because he can, if I take this here and he takes, then I can't do this because then the pawn recaptures. Right? <laughs> no. Okay, that's fine. I'm an embarrassment, chat. I'm an embarrassment. What do I do now? Oh my god, I made this exact same mistake recently. Like, super recently. Well, it's fine. Because uh, my opponent can't... If I just retreat the knight to f3, then I'm okay. Right? I think. I don't want him to go to h4. <laughs> God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> G3. 
Chad, I fucked up. Uh, okay, I don't want to give my opponent a free win. Even though, like, literally all that I've done here is waste a tempo. I don't really see anything else that I can do. Oh, it hurts. It hurts. It's not my best work. It's not my best work. I don't, I, I need to, I need to block the road to F2. I just do. I can't afford to let his queen onto H4. It's like, this just has to happen. I mean, I can still kick this knight. But, god damn. I, I, I can be dumb as bricks sometimes, chat. Alright, well, it's fine. We painted ourselves into a corner. As we all know, that's where we perform the best. Ah. Uh. Some spoilers in the chat probably tell me how dumb I am. <laughs> but it's fine. I mean, you know, you can make mistakes. <laughs> it's not the making mistakes that makes me feel dumb. It's the making the same mistakes, like in close proximity to each other. Uh, because I somewhat don't have it in me to play opening battles with Mage right now, I still gravitate to E3. That's funny. There will be time, mage, one day. If we speak about gravity, it seems I've lost my galaxy. Interesting. Getting a little kicked, huh? That's weird. So, like, this is going to happen. What if we just played g4 here? Lock everything down, right? I mean, I know that it weakens f3 significantly, but it means it just stops this in its tracks. Here, 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 and then prep the... That's not good. Because the travel onto this knight's going to be devastating then, right? What if we knight here? And if takes, takes, then we're defending f2. But on the other hand, if knight here and then pushes, then we take. <laughs> and then if takes, takes, and then we lose the piece. God damn it. <laughs> Fuck me. Knight BD2. Knight BD2. G4. Knight E5. Queen H4. G3. Well, I guess knight f3, right? But then, does he travel to a board where I don't have the ability to... Do I play knight bd2 here? Is that what I do?
What if we play G3 now? That's such a bad idea. That's a way, yeah, that's an even worse idea than G4. Which I think is a terrible idea. I don't always do this to myself. What if I just play Queen C2? Or maybe Queen E2. <laughs> Queen E2. I fucking hate this game, chat. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. What about Rook F1? Isn't that what I did before? I think that's what I did before. Right? In the previous game? I think I went Rook F1. But that was before G5 was played. So now if I go Rook F1 and G4 is played, then I can go... Ninety-five and be okay. But the difference is that now this file is open. For fuck's sake. <laughs> Chat. Why is this game so hard? Alright, okay. What was our first instinct? Knight BD2. G4. The question is... Does Knight BD2... G4, 95, lose me the game. Queen out, and then knight over. And then what? where does it travel to? I don't give a shit. We gotta play. Game hard, because chess hard, plus two extra Ds. Three extra Ds, even. Spoilers are evolving. Ryan for SEO. Spoilers evolved online. There are a shitload of spoilers right now. Uh, <laughs> I see that the spoilers text is being broken up in weird ways. Um, I don't see that though. Um, okay. Oh, I understand the issue. Uh, the issue is that once I play this, after this is played... I can't play this, which makes me feel a little bit silly. Have I lost the game as a result of this? Boom. Maybe I should have played like Queen C2. No, because then I can't play Knight BD2. Maybe Queen F1. I mentioned Queen E2 earlier, and I didn't like it. I don't really know why I didn't like it. Well, it is better to lose a knight than to lose the game. Actually, hold on. What if I played... What if I played Queen E2 now takes takes? Where would that land me if I traveled back from there? Isn't that an interesting question? Maybe it's not. I don't know. So, like, Queen E2. G takes F3. Queen takes F3. Assuming that I can then travel... Let me think. So, next turn I'd be here. The turn afterward, I'd be here. 
And next time I'd be here the turn afterward, I'd be here. So then I'd be here on the board where my queen is on f3, here on the board where my queen is on e2, here on this board, I would end up here with my queen, which would do, it would fork mate and the queen, but then he would just take and I don't have any compensation. So that's not, that's not a play. <laughs> It's not a play. Um, spoilers within spoilers. What about knight a3? <laughs> yeah, what about knight a3? <laughs> Let me think about knight a3, chat. I mean, obviously, it's not talking about this position because that would be spoilers anyway. Ah. Uh. Because now, if I move this knight, uh, I should have defended this. Goddamn peace. What if I take here now? Then takes here happens. What if I take here and takes here? Then takes here. That's probably better, right? Let's get this knight off the board. Takes here. Takes here. And then I'm wrecked. Takes here. Takes here. Here isn't good. I've lost so much time. Mm. Wonder if there's any way out of this. I could give up both knights. Takes and then here. That's probably the worst thing in the position, right? Because if I take here and then... If I take here and then takes here happens. And I do like this. Then he can just takes here, right? Maybe I should just make the move that defends E2. Takes, takes, boom, takes. Uh, I probably there I could have picked any move and just done it like 10 minutes ago and that would have been better. Uh, I think I should have played queen e2 instead of knight bd2. Yeah, now at least I've got a queen on f3. Which feels good, like, offensively. Oh, we're gonna take that for sure. Now we're gonna worry about, like, travels. I see. Takes with the queen.
I guess I'll go here. Actually, how does the queen travel? I mean, I'm down material. Queen travels here. Takes, boom, over. Yeah, we're like safe, I guess. Fine. Let's do this. Let's just play. Let's try not to flag. We're down a knight. <laughs> on a board where all of the other minor pieces have been traded off in 5D chess, which isn't great. We have an otherwise basically symmetric position. So this isn't fantastic. Actually, it's like a... Oh, can you Tchaikovsky meme? Maybe, right? Uh, Go to like here or something like a few turns in the past. Could give myself a queen here. This is kind of scary, right? I don't know what I'm doing, chat. We're just sort of, <laughs> we're just sort of doing it live. I've given him mate and one on the board. <laughs> um, So I got to defend that with my king. I got to make sure that that happens. Uh, okay, this is interesting. I have to make sure that I don't get captured by this pawn on g7. What if I take this now? Or do I want to save this knight? How can I save this knight? I can take this pawn, but that feels like not the strongest move. I still got to worry about that queen over there. Oh, all right. Sure. Let's just take this so that we're not down significant amounts of material. Try and prevent him from checking on this board so that we can like defend on this board. Um, although I do know that like a Tchaikovsky is possible. Hilariously, I actually can't take this with this. king because the king is like one of the only things that's preventing mate on this board I suppose I'll take with the knight even though I don't love it um and I'm still down a knight and now I'm also down a timeline but, oh, uh, okay, the Dr the Tchaikovsky happens on that turn, as paying attention. No, there's nothing I can do about it anyway. It's not like I could set up another travel. Yeah, we saw that he prepped the Tchaikovsky, and he made the Tchaikovsky happen. It worked. It wasn't our turn up here, so we couldn't defend from here, even though this knight was defending that square. That's not how the game works. All right. Uh, I kind of saw it coming, honestly. Ugh. Oh. I repeated, I repeated the same mistakes that I made before. 
I wasn't like super well it was really bad losing all that tempo was pretty bad this bishop trade I feel is probably still good I think the bishop trade is probably still good I think that instead of knight e5 here knight bd2 makes so much more sense Yeah, knight bd2 here, and then everything is Gucci, right? Right? Took over five minutes. Sucks. Well, hey, we both got something to be disappointed about in this game then, Narik. I know how you feel. We know some of the things we're doing, but knowing all the things we're doing is hard. True. Ah, oh, all right. She takes F3 was more considering. Maybe. Oh my god. I got distracted by this thing that I doesn't work that I got distracted by last time I played. <laughs> I think that was against Andre. It was either Andre or Dreamer. Well, those are the only two league matches I've played, but. Oh man. Alright, we're not playing our best 5D chess chat. Man! That sucks. I'm disappointed in myself. Well, another week, another 5D Chess League match. Botched. That's all right. It's a learning experience. I mean, I can tell you one thing for sure. I'm not, I'm not going to make that mistake again. Probably. Hopefully.